Hey there, it's Diane from DianeHawkman.com, and let's talk about creating a home business that lasts forever. I mean, isn't that what we all want? Don't we want to all create a business that pays us consistently month after month, year after year? Now, I can't talk to you about forever, and I can't promise you forever, but I have been in business for 12 years, and things are looking pretty good, so I, I'm hoping I'm here at least another 12, unless I get bored and decide to do something else, but I expect I'll be around for a while. So let's talk about some of the choices that I personally made um, in order to ensure that my business would be here in the long term, particularly after the advent of social media and the internet and creating content and so on. Now, this training is for a little bit more advanced person, software person who just started and is just learning how to set up Facebook or something. This is for somebody who has some, you know, you, you probably have a blog, you have <coughs> social media profiles and so on and so forth. The first thing that I want you to consider, and you may want to write these down, is never create a piece of content that you would be embarrassed by a year from now. What does that mean? Never create a piece of content that if your team were to see or if you became a top leader, you'd be embarrassed to have people see uh, or especially something that you'd be embarrassed to have your kids see. Okay, That's always a rule of thumb for me. Would I show this to my kids? My, my daughters are uh, 15 and 18 now, so uh, you know they're young adults. W- would, I, would I be embarrassed if they saw it? See, the reason why you want to make sure that you're creating content that you can be proud of and stand by is because over time, you know, what seems like a good idea, a hard pitch or a hypey thing or maybe something that you think is funny, um, over time it dates itself. And over time it can accumulate really to tarnish your reputation. I always looked to create things that are what we call evergreen in the industry. Evergreen. And you know what an evergreen tree is. It doesn't lose its leaves. It doesn't change. It's the same always. And evergreen content is content that somebody can listen to today, tomorrow, next year, or five years from now, and it would still be relevant. So if we're doing a lot of content that's about something, a program that you know isn't going to be here very soon, you can just feel what's going to, you know, disappear and so on, or a trend. I don't talk about trends, actually, I shouldn't say that. Trends I'll talk about. Fads I won't. What's faddish, what's popular now that I know will only be popular for a month or two. I rarely, this is me, again, um, you know, if you know me, you know, I speak from the gut, I speak from the heart. Um, other people may disagree with me, uh, you know, so I do not <laughs> claim that this is the uh, the uh, opinion of anybody but myself, but I tend not to talk much about programs and products. I mean, I will promote them, but I tend not to put that in my content because a program or a product can go away and I might, I want my content to be pristine because I actually believe I'm building a library that will be here for me. And I have a blog right now, dianehockman.com has five years worth of content. And pretty much all of it, a couple things I took away, but pretty much all of it stands on its feet even four and five years later. And you'll often find me sending out trainings and content that I created years ago. So that's a telltale sign of a leader and somebody who believes they're going to be here. Your prospects may not run as fast if you do the hypey thing, but what happens is they subconsciously understand that you are going to be here. And in the long run, they will all end up coming back to you. Okay, so that's one thing, how I decide to do content. And then the other thing is really important is your relationships, okay? You're going to come across all kinds of people in your business. You're going to have people, um, you know, that were great and then they quit and they disappear. You're going to have people that yell at you. You're going to have people that are wackadoo. Um, I try to preserve the relationships with everybody. Um, I expect that people are going to come and go. I expect that people won't follow through. I expect that there's going to be people with poor timing in their life. And I don't hold it as a reflection of them as a person. It's just a reflection of the time period and so on and so forth. And the reason why I say this is it's stunning if you stick around long enough how many people will come and go and come back again 
if you're decent to everybody. I'm not saying hang out with them. I'm not saying give them time if they, you know, stop being a customer or stop being on your team. Um, but you don't want to be rough to people because, one, uh, they could come back a year later, uh, still be fond of you, sign up and be your top producer. Two, um, you got to remember that on the Internet, one person has the power to make your life miserable um, because of social media, word can get around about something really, really fast. So uh, preserve your integrity in your content and preserve the relationships you have with people or at least the mutual respect for one another. Don't burn bridges. Don't, you know, post stuff about other people. Even if they were total moron jerks, don't do that. Because if you're going to be here 10 years from now, you don't want a trail of that and you don't want people angry at you. You just want to keep a professional, professional, professional vibe about you and your business. The longer you stick around, the longer you're consistent, the more the field thins and the more you'll find that people will be attracted to you because you become like a rock. You become the one that was there yesterday, will be there tomorrow and forever shall be. And I really relate this a lot to like dating. You know, when a young man is out running around and he's 21, 22, he's usually looking for the best looking babe, the hottest thing, okay, because that's who he wants to date on Saturday night. Okay, and that's the hot deal and the money deals and all this other stuff. But over time, as he grows up, he starts to recognize that he'd really like to meet the woman that's going to be the mother of his children. He settles down, and what he's looking for in his dates changes. It's the same with business people. They get into the industry, and they're looking for the hot money deal. And yes, there's money to be made promoting those things. But the people come and go so fast and the programs come and go so fast, it's like crazy and it can really hurt your image if you're, you know, if that's what you're into. And in the end, anybody that sticks around, they will end up gravitating to the leaders that are rocks. And that's why the top leaders keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you you sit there and you go, how are they doing that? How, How do they recruit so many people? It's because their reputation is so solid over time that everybody gravitates toward them because as people mature in their businesses they want to align themselves with people that are very knowledgeable and people that are going to be here so begin with the end in mind begin your business now like you know you're going to be here 10 years from now and behave today like you have at least 100 people front line to you and that will change the whole way you carry yourself so That's about creating a legacy, creating a home business that lasts forever. Um, Guys, I hope you visit DianeHockman.com. Put in your name and email. I'm always, this is one of my favorite topics to talk about how to carry yourself, branding, positioning, pecking order. I do whole seminars. I do four-day seminars on this topic um, that is major high-level stuff that very few people know. Um, and, you know, if this is the type of stuff that you'd like to learn because you know you're going to be here forever, I'd love to get into it with you. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care. 